Hey, welcome back and then today's video a little bit serious here things have been getting very out of line yesterday we did the the video talking about the creepy voicemail that could potentially lead into a real last-ditch effort to warn the world of imminent disaster a lot of people don't know Stephen Hawking's on his deathbed did say something about April 18th a lot of people do say that the mysterious messages from Malaysia this right that disappeared and had a lot to do with the mysterious voicemail that is apparently going out all over the world they're talking phonetic alphabet I think it's time we get into will the world end on April 18th 2018 a recent reddit page where somebody asked what is going to happen on April 18th 2018 and what is the proof pointing towards it they say it had I had googled that never heard of it up until now the world's going to end again and folks on Quora are suitably impressed and then if you read a little bit further you come into some things like came from a series of tweets that Twitter users received and also apparently Stephen Hawking had mentioned something people are trying to trace it back to the Malaysian Airlines due to the coordinates and apparent black box recordings the Malaysian Airlines plane vanished in March 2014 with 239 people during a routine flight from Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia Beijing there was a couple of really strong conspiracy theories on what happened a lot of people thought it was shot down they thought that uh, remote cyber hijacking took over the plane and crashed it uh, possibly took it to some uh, unknown place it it could have been a Russian plot it's, the list goes on shortly after this happened there was a viral tweet about a creepy voicemail a creepy military coded voicemail message was sent to random phones it went viral and we talked about it in yesterday's video here and it was Ty he was talking about how this message was sent to him in phonetic alphabet we did trace back the roots of phonetic alphabet to aviation control telecommunications they used this in aviation to send messages back and forth that could not be easily decoded now once we figured this out that's when things got really strange the viral Twitter message translated to danger SOS it is dire for you to evacuate be cautious they are not human SOS dangerous with the S meaning the message was on repeat now this was something that did freak out um, Ty straight away on Twitter but unbeknownst to him because he didn't talk about this this message was sent to many people across the United States and it was just recently brought to my attention that it wasn't just in the United States but this message was sent worldwide now there is no true connection between this phonetic alphabet message and the missing Malaysia Airlines flight but the fact that it was an aviation telecommunications method does raise my suspicions Within digging deeper on the internet, I came across a Stephen Hawking prediction that he made on his deathbed. This is the most Morse code translation message received is well related to Stephen Hawking's death. You were not ready to face them. Stephen Hawking did say something bad was going to happen to the world in 2018. A Morse code translation, so then I thought I'd look more into what Stephen Hawking had to play in with this. Hawking explains that humankind's days on Earth are already numbered because of climate change, asteroid strikes, epidemics, and overpopulation. The only way to survive, we need to change planets and fast. And to make it even more, I know, I know how you feel. Tesla and SpaceX founder CEO Elon Musk thinks so. He has already outlined plans to make it happen. The destination for humanity in his mind, Mars. And while the red planet isn't exactly near, neither is it too far away one of Stephen Hawking's last public speeches outlined the rise of powerful and self-sustaining AI will either be the best or the worst thing to ever happen to humanity we do not know yet which that is this gives chills down my spine especially considering the same technology and artificial intelligence helps Stephen Hawking communicate and move and would consider him having a positive outlook towards the same. So when one of the greatest minds who ever lived in the 21st century warns us something like this, it's probably best we do pay attention. I am very aware of the preciousness of time. Seize the moment. 
It was speculated that Stephen Hawking's exact last words were, they are coming. Now I consulted the internet gods, aka Google, if this was true. Though I could not confirm that those were his last words, I did find one article that said his final, one of the final things he said was that scientists could find alternate universes using probes on spaceships, allowing humans to form an even better understanding of our own universe. What else is out there and our place in the cosmos? into the more of the religious biblical aspect it says the final jubilee ends there will have been 40 complete jubilee cycles following christ's death isn't that interesting there are so many 40s in the bible and 40 is a significant number to god the 40 jubilees after christ's death brings us to the end of probationary time so what exactly is april 18th 2018 why is it so important and what's the deal what's the hype about it it looks like the connection between the Malaysian Airlines and the creepy voicemail that was going around with the phonetic alphabet ran, it was a, in a Morse code message and it had five grouping numbers and when the Indonesian message was ran through Google Translate, it turned out to be a warning. Let's, let's do this ourselves. 20.8.5.25.1.18.5 The mysterious voicemail message that was connected to the Malaysian Airlines, it was connected because there was a couple of sets of coordinates. The coordinates were from Malaysia and Indonesia. And there's a lot of people saying that the latter, many users noted that it was very close to where the Malaysian Airlines flight MH370 vanished from radar, leading to speculation the voicemail was a recording of the doomed plane's encounter with some sort of alien craft. Are you saying that Malaysia Flight 370 encountered something non-human? Asked user G.O.D. Laura in a post retweeted more than 6,000 times. The unsettling direct messages he had been receiving from his Twitter account, one from Indonesia, another from Malay, in a couple of Morse code, and one appeared to have five groupings of numbers. The Indonesian message, when ran through Google Translate, turned out to be a warning. Several users decoded the numerical sequences in the Morse code and got this. They are taking over. And some cryptic lines about the late scientist Stephen Hawking, which read, the message received is well related to Stephen Hawking's death. You were not ready to face them. The numerical sequence allude to April 18th as some kind of day of reckoning, rapture, or the day when they are going to take over. Let's take that and see if we can translate it ourselves. Interestingly enough, it does translate to they are taking over, but this is not enough. We do need more. So I was wondering about what kind of celestial events are happening in April and see if we could tie anything like that into all this speculation and controversy. The crescent moon will appear in the V-shape face of the constellation Taurus on April 18th. I'm not gonna point out obvious V-shape being a Illuminati connection. It seems like something that they would use a significant day. An Illuminati connection. Face the low western sky at dusk and you can watch the thin crescent moon nestled within the V-shape that marks the face of Taurus, the bull. Just to recap, it looks like the phonetic alphabet message that was viral going on Twitter from Ty straight away wasn't just a singularity, it was a message that was being uh, repeated and forwarded uh, worldwide. It also looks like the coordinates from the voicemail could have been traced back to Indonesia and also other decoded messages from Morse code were traced back to Malaysia. The phonetic alphabet uh, was closely tied into aviation and they also tied it in with the supposable last words of Stephen Hawking saying that they are coming and that we are not prepared. My thoughts are and I don't know, but could it be an alien invasion of impending doom? Could it be artificial intelligence? Will the world end on April 18th of 2018? I'm not 100% sure. But as interesting as this is, oh man, is it ever so interesting. There's always one thing that's a little bit more interesting to me. That's right, you guessed it. I want to know what you think. So why don't you go ahead and leave your creative and or interesting responses in the comment box. Be Thumbs up to this like. And as always, brothers and sisters, I will see you 
in the next video. A lot of different things are happening. This was a, a, a video that needed to be made. A, a lot of questions I addressed, other people were not addressing. I'm really interested in what is gonna come from this video, what you guys are gonna think, what, got, what are you guys going to find as you go out there on the internet and explore. Maybe you know some things that I've not discussed. Uh, there definitely sh will probably be follow-up videos on this. But I know that you're repping, and if you're not repping, you're gregging. And how do you become a member of the Rep Squad? All you gotta do is subscribe with notifications turned on and be in the comments section after every single video, because I'm gonna be there. Greg the Cat's gonna be there, and the entire rest of the Rep Squad community is gonna be there. Because this is another reason I show that this channel loves you.